ever wondered what makes the world around us so vibrant, so full of life? It's a complex orchestra of elements, both living and non-living, seamlessly interacting to create the environment we know and experience every day. The environment isn't just our immediate surroundings. It's a broad spectrum that includes land, water bodies, houses, plants, animals, and so much more. Each environment is unique, made up of different components that shape its identity. For instance, in a classroom, you might find pencils, books, and students, while in a forest, you'd find trees, animals, and rivers. One fascinating aspect of our world is growth, a feature inherent to living organisms. A child grows into an adult, a seed sprouts into a tree. Growth is a testament to life, a sign of living things changing and adapting in response to their environment. So as we see, our environment is a mix of living and non-living things, each with its unique characteristics. One of the most fascinating aspects of living organisms is growth. But what exactly is growth? Picture this, the shoes you wore as a baby. Try to fit into them now, impossible, right? That's because you've grown, you're larger, taller. This increase in size, height or amount is what we call growth. It's a fundamental characteristic of living organisms. Now, let's consider a pencil. Can it grow? Can it become taller or larger over time? No, it can't. It remains the same size no matter how much time passes. Why is this so? Well, it's because a pencil is a non-living thing. Non-living things, unlike living organisms, don't have the capacity for growth. They don't change in size or height over time. They remain static, unchanging. Thus, growth, an increase in size, height or amount, sets the living organisms apart from the non-living. Did you know living organisms are not all the same? They can be broadly classified into three groups. First, we have plants. These are organisms that are capable of photosynthesis, a process that converts sunlight into energy. Plants include everything from towering trees like the coconut and bamboo to smaller plants like the papaya. But plants are not just about size. They play a crucial role in our environment by producing oxygen and providing food and shelter for many organisms. Next, we have animals. This group is incredibly diverse, including organisms like the graceful deer, the vibrant butterfly, the swimming fish and the slow-moving snail. Animals differ from plants in many ways, one being that they cannot produce their own food and rely on consuming other organisms for energy. They also play myriad roles in the environment, acting as pollinators, predators and prey. Finally, let's not forget about microorganisms. These are organisms that are so small, they can't be seen with the naked eye. They exist in air, soil, water and even inside other organisms. You might think of them as insignificant due to their size, but they are anything but. Microorganisms play a vital role in our world, involved in processes like decomposition and fermentation, and even helping us digest our food. But let's take a closer look. A drop of pond water or a bit of hay-infused water under a compound microscope reveals a bustling city of these tiny organisms. It's a fascinating sight, a reminder that life exists in forms and places we often overlook. In essence, the living world is a fascinating array of organisms, each with their unique characteristics and roles. Some are visible to the naked eye like plants and animals, while others, like microorganisms, require a closer look to appreciate their existence and importance. So the living world is a diverse array of plants, animals and microorganisms, each playing a unique role in the environment. Microorganisms might be tiny, but they have a big impact on our world. Let's find out how. These minuscule life forms are everywhere. In the water we drink, the air we breathe, and the soil in our gardens. They are even living on our skin and in our guts. Their roles are diverse and essential. Some, like bacteria, help decompose organic material, returning nutrients to the soil. Others, like certain types of fungi, form symbiotic relationships with plants, helping them absorb water and nutrients. But not all microorganisms are friendly. Some can cause diseases in plants, animals, and even humans. Yet even these harmful microorganisms have a role to play, helping to control population sizes and maintain the balance of ecosystems. In short, microorganisms are tiny powerhouses driving many of the processes that make life on Earth possible. From the tiniest microorganism to the largest animal, every living thing is a wonder. And together, they make our world a living wonder.